Hi, uh, once again, it's Jason the Golf Principles here in Basingstoke, and I'm going to talk today about wedges and short game. Now, there's been a, a lot of stuff talking about new product and drivers and fairways and fast face irons, but the bottom line, look at the match play last week. Kucha won because he got up and down the most. Look at you know what was supposedly a weak part of Mayhan's game, the short game. He chipped and putted and pitched and putted and put her to death, who up until that point was the short game king of the week. But what's really interesting to me is what shafts they use in their wedges. Now, it all depends on what method you use, and you know, I'm a big fan of the linear method, but it depends on what you use. It actually seems to be irrelevant, but what does make a big difference is what shaft you use. Now, a lot of the guys out there use what we call the tour issue shaft for diamond gold. Mayhan and Kucha use that in their irons, uh, wedges. Now, obviously, Mayhan had it in his irons, but Kuch had those Aerotech 95s in. It's a completely different shaft. But what this shaft does, in terms of it puts the weights more towards down here. So with wedging and short game, I'm a massive believer in having the weight down the bottom towards the head. That's going to give you the feel of what the head's doing through contact and where you're trying to almost feel the hand and glide it under or, or shut the face down. Or whatever you want to try and do with it. Very few players use what I would call a counterbalance shaft, like a Project X in their wedges. So for those of you out there who haven't got the best short game in the world, and you've kind of got the same shaft in your irons and wedges, it might be an idea to get some different shafts in your wedges to try and feel that you get some more head weight down there to feel where it's going. Now I've picked out three here which are non-counterbalanced, which are seem to be the best performing shafts we've seen in here for us. Diamond Gold Tour Issue, long sticker going down there. The spinner shaft with that funky little step pattern in there, which again is heavier. Both of those are coming in about 130 grams. And the Nippon WV special design for the wedge shaft, that's 125 grams. They're all heavier than normal. They're all designed for that sort of more fitting down here and less up here. So again, I urge you to experiment with the short game. You know, there's a couple of guys who follow me, uh, Ben Clayton's very good in terms of short game coaching, and he's a massive advocate of working with the, 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 the head weight and the head and the feel of it. It's a touchy-feely, it's a kinesthetic thing, so try and at least have a little experiment. You know, put the shaft in one, keep another one, and see which one you prefer. The guys on tour spend hours on their short games, and the match play proves why that is. It's that glue that holds the score together. But anyway, any questions, as always, you tune me.